As I commented earlier, Tom has done a lot of work on looking at the efficacy of mobile learning. I'd like to ask uh, him up to address uh, some of the findings in his research. So over to you, Tom. Great, right, thanks, Steve. Just going to uh, switch over here. Okay. So we've been doing a whole lot of mobile um, learning projects over about eight years and uh, about over 50 projects so far, uh, which allows us to really sort of reflect on what works and what, what doesn't work. So come up with some critical success factors. And I'm uh, just going to try and connect to the Apple TV here. And uh, these are some critical success factors according to Tin Man. I don't know if anyone's seen Tin Man, but it's a New Zealand sort of cartoon. And uh, one that I particularly like is uh, this one here. Uh, so another paper that I've written is actually um, called Mobile Learning Failures. And it's actually through <coughs> what you um, learn most is when you do something wrong. And uh, being able to compare that to the projects that work. So compare the projects that don't work to the ones that don't, that do. And come up with some critical success factors. And uh, so here's six, and Stephen's got a little bit of a slide which um, um, quotes this. So this is from the British Journal of Educational Technology, and it's about critical success factors. So really it's about creating a new culture. It's a new culture of teaching and learning. It's about reconceptualizing what it means to be a teacher, what it means to be a student, what these devices are useful for, and what social media is useful for. So it's about changing a culture, and that's really the the key factors that we've come up with, it's about supporting that, about integrating into teaching and learning, about thinking differently, and that's where Apple comes in, allows us to think differently. <coughs> so I'll just leave you with Tin Man and uh, his critical success factors that he had. Thank you, Tom. Okay.